Connecting Central Texas. This is 25 News. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joel Lopez. Here's a look at your top stories. Eviction protection expires tonight and the roughly $900 billion stimulus package that Congress approved earlier this week is awaiting President Trump's signature, but so far he's refused to sign it. President Trump tweeting out that he has had, quote, many calls and meetings demanding Congress increase the amount of the stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000. So what now? Well, if President Trump vetoes it, it would force lawmakers back to Washington to try and override the president. But if he does nothing and just holds on to the bill, for the next several days it will expire and then it'll be up to the next Congress to try and do this all over again and get relief to the American people. The Texas Supreme Court has extended its emergency eviction relief program for tenants behind rent through at least March 15th. It's called the Texas Eviction Diversion Program and was created to help families recover from the impact of the pandemic without the looming threat of eviction. Now, since the pandemic began in March, nearly 4 million Texans have filed for unemployment. As Christmas comes to an end, a big danger could be at the end of your driveway. The boxes or packages you're throwing away could tell thieves what's up for grabs inside your home. So it's best to break down all those boxes and place them inside the garbage bins or recycling bins and take them out as close to pickup time as possible. And just to be safe, record all serial numbers on electronic items just in case something happens. A heads up, if you're getting rid of Christmas boxes or packages, the American Forest and Paper Association is asking you to be mindful of what you put into recycling bins. They note while many packaging items like boxes, bags, and wrappings are from paper, not everything is, like things, ribbons, and bows. Now, those are also considered non-recyclables. Now, many holiday cards may also fall under that category if they contain glitter or plastic. For a list of do's and don'ts on recycling, head to paperrecycles.org. Now it's time for a check on your first alert forecast. And I'm meteorologist Josh Johns with a look at your updated 10 day forecast. It's going to be a warm and breezy day tomorrow. Temperatures climbing into the mid 70s for your Sunday. A little weak cold front will sneak into central Texas on Monday. Won't make it to the Brazos Valley, but it'll be a cloudy day, maybe with a few showers. Then we bring in more rain chances. We head towards the middle of the week as a stronger storm system moves through and behind it. Cooler weather hanging on for the start of the new year. And then the weekend behind it could have a second shot of cooler weather as well. 